Hare Krishna, welcome to this fun time. I am going to start a spiritual journey to Rameshwaram with a group of 42 people in a bus from Krishnabalram Temple. First on the way, we are visiting a Divya Shetram. One of them is Tottathri Nathan Perumal Temple. At Nangu Meri, around 109 kilometers from Divrantram. It is a Swaimbu Shetram. The speciality of the temple is the oil well, where the oil destined for Perma is collected. It is said that the oil has rich medicinal value and cure many diseases. We started our journey again and reached Radha Krishna temple at Tutukudi. There the inmates warmly welcomed us. See the beautiful Nasimha Yadav Krishna Balaji Rekis there. We did Kirtan and ate Prasadam there. From here we are going to Rameshwaram. You can see the incredible Pamban bridge on the way. It is a 2.2 km length bridge connecting Rameshwara Island and mainland. The view is just great. Thereafter, we reached the hotel we are staying for two days. Next day, early morning, we started our journey to the holy place, the Nishkodi, the southeast end of India. This place is the origin of the sacred Ram Sedu. On the way, you can see the calm bay of Bengal and fierce Indian Ocean on both sides of the road. These two Zs merge at this point. said that from this point, there is only 18 miles to reach Sri Lanka. Now you can see the Kodanda Rama temple where Lord Rama conducted the Pattabhishekam of Vibhishana. Me and my friend Sankirtan praising Lord Kodanda Rama. It was followed by a spiritual talk by my mom and Hare Krishna Das. From there we moved to see Lakshmana Tirtha. There's a beautiful temple dedicated to Lord Lakshmana with attractive carved pillars. The pond has a mandapa in the center surrounded by water all sides. Next we went to see the beautiful Ramatirtham. Later we reached the Panjamuki Hanuma Rupa. There Hanumanji took this form to kill Ahiravan, the brother of Ravana. Near that we can see the entrance of the floating stones of Sri Ramasedu. After leaving from there, we next went to see Ramar Padam. This place is also known as Ganda Magana Parvatam. This temple has footprints of Lord Rama. Hanuman and others ascended at this hill and looked towards Lenga to plan how to reach there. 
it is the highest point of Rameshwaram. And we can see most of the Rameshwara island from here. After noon that day, we had a beautiful class by my Ammai Haripriya Devi Dasi. She gave a gist of the story of Ramayana and the significance of the places we visited today. After that, we started to the Rameshwar temple. Before entering the temple, we took bath in Agni Tirtham at the sea which is located outside the temple complex. After that, we went to take bath in the 22 Tirthas. It is said that bathing in Tirthas purifies the body and mind. Among the Tirthas, Kodi Tirtha is known as the most sacred Tirtha. After changing the wet dress, we entered the Rameshwaran temple. It is believed after defeating Ravana, who was a great devotee of Lord Shiva, Lord Rama wanted to appease Lord Shiva. As he is demonstrating the ideal human behavior, he asked Hanuman to bring a Shivalinga from Kailas. When Hanuman delayed, Koda Sita made a Shivalinga using sand. It is known as Ramalingam. The Lingam brought by Hanuman from Kailas is called Vishu Lingam. After having the blissful darshan, we returned back to our hotel. The next day, we started our return journey back to Trivandrum. On the way, we visited Tirupulani, Adi Jagannath Perumal Temple, which is among the 108 Vaishnava Setram. This is the place where Lord Rama meditated for pleasing Varuna Deva on the grass. Hence, we can see the deity Darba Shayana Ramar there. There was a Goshala, and I fed the cows with Agadi spinach leaves. Again, we started our return journey and reached the back of Nobletran Temple. This was a very blissful journey and I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you for watching. Hare Krishna.